Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. And today we are working on Dream from Diamond Art Club. Yes, I finally got it re-kitted. Oh yes, that was a nightmare. I was like, oh my god, am I ever going to get this back the way it's supposed to be? But yeah, we did. Because, you know, I really want to finish it. So grab your coffee and... Grab your whips and let's get diamond painting today. Um, I do have an unbagging later um, that you'll see today. I got that done. It's not a very big one, but it's still pretty. Three, three, seven, one, three, three, seven, one. Oh, yes, here we go. That lovely brown. Yep. So, I'd say I'm about halfway on this stupid thing. Jeez. I finally got it re-kitted up, and so it was at the top of the heap. So, I thought, why not? So, we'll just work on it. And it's a square, but it's going along really well. I really love this painting, and I can hardly wait to have it done. I'll probably have to order a, a frame from... Uh, Amazon to get one other than that I'd have to go I don't think they have them at my Walmart short of putting them on like over the top of a, a regular canvas because they do sell some big canvases there sometimes but uh, it'd be just as cheap to have it shipped to me so I don't know what kind of a frame I'm going to get for it but it will have a frame and the only other Diamond Art Club that I've ever finished is Myrtle Lease. So it'll be exciting when it gets done. Of course, I'm going to have to straighten out all these drills. This thing has been moved around about 50 times. But uh, I still love it. And that's why I kept it out. And I put all the rest of them back so nothing had happened to them. I still have Jewel out, but I haven't worked on her since that one day that I worked on it. So... We'll just try to get them done. Um, checked into my retirement today. Oh, yeah, that'll be a trip. So, it'll be 45 days before I can even get that to start. So, it looks like I'll have to go and find another job because I'm no longer working for that restaurant. I just... Just couldn't take it anymore and I was just done with the whole mess so yeah so now we're we're looking for another job so I thought maybe if I could get into a restaurant another restaurant um, I could then take it down to two or three days a week you know when I started getting my retirement and that way I wouldn't have to work nearly as hard I'm planning ahead for next summer because I'm not living through another summer with 40-hour days. It was just going to drive me over the edge. And this was my last summer of doing that. I just cannot handle any more of it. So, But if I only have to go two or three days a week, then no big deal. So we will try to get that into play. But uh, today... I had to go have my daughter pick me up so she could take me back to the house to pick up my car. But we had to pick the granddaughter up. And then we had to uh, stop at the grocery store and got a little bit of lunch. And uh, came back to her house and we played uh, we The, what do you call it? Um, oh, dear. Oh, goodness gracious. What is it called? Oh, I think it's one of the, the links, the Zelda um, Wii things. i got to have it. One F. One F. Seven, nine, eight. Seven, nine, eight. I just need one of them for right there. And then we can have that part finished. But yeah, this is going to have to be straightened and everything else because it's been moved so many times. We're not going to go up that far. We're just going to come across here and then just keep coming across a little bit. But um, anyway, so we played that for a couple hours and had our lunch. and 
It was just kind of nice to relax. Last night, I was so tired, I went to bed at like, oh, I think it was like 9.30. And usually, I'm, I'm one not to go to bed before midnight. <laughs> yeah, not last night. I was so relaxed from those drinks we had yesterday. I was just done. and So I got up at 4.30 because I couldn't sleep anymore and my back was not letting me. So, we will see how this retire thing goes. But I don't have an appointment with them until the 1st of November, so it'll be a while. And so maybe I can find a job and let them know, you know, that I will be going down to three days a week. So I can do it that way. And then it takes 45 days after you've had your appointment to get it started. So we'll, we'll see how all that goes. But, uh, I mean, I can work for the restaurant now that it's slower, you know. I can work for a restaurant short time and short term, knowing that at the end of that I can only, I only have to work three days a week. And that'll be nice not having to get out in the snow in the middle of winter. Of course, it's supposed to snow here uh, next Friday and Saturday, so we'll see what happens. You know, usually that first, oh, it's going to snow, it blows over, so we, we will see. 400, 400, hang in there, I gotta find the friggin' color, I do have a bag with my excess beads in it, which was a different bag than the one I kitted, oh my god, that I unkitted, oh, I was so pissed, so pissed, because I was like, why wouldn't I have done that, because usually I need the containers, you know, so, we will see. But so far, you know, I mean, I'm just kind of picking up where I left off and just thought this was a great place to start. And yes, right now I'm putting them in one at a time because I got this big placer on here. It must be at least a 10 placer. Where are you? There you are. So it's pretty wide. Not nearly as wide as that shows, but I would say it's two inches, give or take. So, it just doesn't want to put beads in there. Now, maybe I just haven't done this for a while, but I couldn't get it to put small amounts of beads in. Now, that one I had that was a seven-placer, it worked perfect for putting, you know, just like three or four in at a time if I needed to, or because that seemed to be the most common. And then for the bigger spots, I would just use, um, you know, the seven-placer, but... I haven't looked in my bag of tricks. I know I've got like 500 of these things somewhere. I didn't buy a whole bunch of just ends. I just have them from getting diamond paintings. So, not much. But, uh, yeah. So, it's been kind of an interesting weekend. I just needed some time off to, to think and reflect and just felt like doing my projects and everything else so that's cool nope oh, that's on the other side I cut I had the full length of the plastic paper there and I cut them down because I was getting so far down on the oh come on would everybody just get where you're supposed to be I guess because there's nothing around it and it was just getting in my way so I trimmed them down Three eight two eight. Three eight two eight. Hopefully we got enough of those. We'll see. It's kind of a khaki tan. There you go. And we'll just keep putting in the beads or the, the drills one at a time. And these always go so well for me. I have not had a problem with any of their square or round diamonds not going in or the squares popping or no hula can nightmares you know and I've only done a, a few uh, hula cans and I didn't have any problems with them I don't know if I got rounds or squares with them I can't even remember that far back all I know is that like the middle of September was my one year anniversary for um being in diamond painting 
Whoops, I missed the whole thing. Did you see that? I'm telling you. And that's another thing with the great big wide ones. You can't tell exactly where you're going. I don't pay too much attention. The other one was easier control. That's all I'm saying. It would work on something like uh, K. Rico Siren that would had lots of big, you know, flat areas. This would. So. But. So, what's everybody doing? Is everybody working on a project or that kind of thing? Oh, and I missed again. Oh, I swear. Okay, I may have to go get my my small one. But uh, for now, we'll just put them in one at a time. And somebody suggested that I do a how to bead tutorial and I may do that later on today I, I don't know it depends so we will see Oy vey. let's get those peas next I think it's nine seven seven. So. Oh, I only got a few of them. Dyke nabbit. Well, I think it'll do for a right this time. And this canvas is really sticky. Super, you know, sticky and haven't had a problem with one place being, you know, not. Have you ever gotten one of those diamond paintings where, like, Part of it didn't have the glue on it. I don't know what the heck happened there, but I had one, and it wasn't, you know, I don't remember exactly which one it was, but I know it was not a Diamond Art Club. Like I've said, I've never had it. I think it was one of those off places that I got either at, um, what do you call it? Oh, my goodness. I'm just not thinking today. At Amazon or AliExpress, you know, one of those small stores or something. And it wasn't too big of a diamond thing. I think it was on those Koi. And I can't, I'm pretty sure I got the Koi at Amazon. And I couldn't begin to tell you the name of the store. So. But, uh. I saw the new arrivals from Diamond Art Club. Again, nothing I really want to jump for. I haven't seen any for, you know, a good month or so. I usually bought one a month, you know. Sometimes more, depending on what I wanted or how much money I had to spend. But uh, I usually only bought two at a time. But uh, we got through that number. Yay! We'll wait on that over there. Just trying to concentrate and go this way. I know. Some days. Someday my OCD just drives me over the edge and I have to do things a certain way or it just doesn't come out right. 3854. 3854. It's another orange. How about that? Let's put that over there so we don't drop it. And it's kind of a. Remember those circus peanut candies that we used to get when we were kids? You know. Some people that are older than or our age. That's what color it reminds me of. Those things, they were good and bad at the same time. Oh, now you couldn't pay me enough to eat them if I had to. But I think they're gross. But uh, And after a while, you couldn't eat too many of them. They were kind of gaggy. Ugh. But we had a good time yesterday going out and taking pictures and doing stuff like that, you know, with the kids. Because they need to get out and get some fresh air and run around. And see if I can get that even close or remotely close. No, not even. We'll just straighten it up as we go. No big deal. Come on. Everybody get in your little place. But they liked it, you know. They like going around and getting to run around and, you know, like unheld back. I know that's not a word, but you know what I mean. Not restricted. 
you know, they could run and and jump. And, of course, there was a mud puddle, and they all had to get in that. And we were lucky we kept them clean long enough to get their stupid pictures. But most of them we were taking was, you know, from, like, their waist up. So you should have seen the bottom of all their pants. They had to walk through the water puddles. Of course. I've never seen a small child resist a water puddle. At least not my kids. Okay. And we need pluses. But this is on the top of my pile now, so maybe you'll see it more since I got it re-kitted. 3817. Kind of a blue. We're still doing the water and the fish and the water and the fish and the tiger. Oh yeah, it's great. Tiger's over here. Are you right? That way. Sorry. But, uh, so it's just been kind of fun and just taking a couple of days to go, <gasps> finally, you know, because I just, I couldn't take it anymore, guys. I swear, I've hit the end of my rope. Am I getting too old for this crap? So we'll see if I get another restaurant thing. I don't think there's too much of anything else here in town to do. Of course, I could go to work for a little mini mart, but I don't want to have to scrub floors too terribly bad. So we will see. But I'd much rather work in a, a restaurant than one of those places. I've worked, you know, my share of a couple of, two or three different ones of those. But, uh, and up here in all the snow, you have to mop the floor a hundred times a day. And then undo all the, the groceries and everything. It's, yeah, it's like all in what you want to put up with, I swear. Okay, we need that blue half thing. 3760. 3737. It takes me a moment, guys. Three, seven, seven, six, oh. Because I got short numbers with long numbers. And, oh, yeah. It's, it's special. But I was glad to get it kitted up again. It was making me feel nervous. Because I sure as heck did not want to lose those diamonds. Oh, Diamond Art Club would have sent them to me, but just not going there. Not when I had them, and I knew I had them. So if I don't put them away somewhere, the rest of them have names on their cases. And I kit everything in these. I did have, I think I've got one that's kitted up in the, um, what do you call it? Harbor Freight thing. But I put it away. Still haven't received those extra beads from that other bunch. So who knows if I'll ever get them. It'd probably take... A month and a half to get here on the slow boat from China but oops almost we almost made it that time come on get up there Gotta get everything in line again that's why I hate working on the edge but it all has to get done so my daughter says, you are going to finish the princesses before she outgrows the princesses, aren't you? And I'm like, oh, God. That thing is in a knot at the bottom of that, that crate that's holding all the diamond paintings. It was the first one to go in there, believe me. I just, I can't look at it for right now. I might pull it out before her birthday, so I'll have it done by her birthday. But, mmm, 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 mmm. Not making no promises to nobody. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut and keep on painting. Yeah, because that thing, it's not that it's a nightmare. I'm just tired of looking at it. I want it to be done, but, you know, it's not getting done at the bottom of the bag. So, oh, well. I need some Fs again. That's 798. I had that out. 7, <coughs> excuse me, 7... It's always hard to find because it's right on the end. 
and see if you can still see where I'm at here. I think we're right in there somewhere. But since this has such pretty blues in it, that's why I like to work on it. And the oranges and the complementary colors. The orange is the complementary color, but you know what I mean. It all blends well together. It's a JoJo Arts, if nobody knew that. But... And it has its share of black in it, so that's okay too. That, that doesn't bother me as long as it's not the stupid Transformer guy. Jeez, that thing was horrible. And I can't remember if it was square. I think it was actually square. So we will see. Okay, well, let's get those L's. I got one dot and one arrow. So let's go get them. The arrow is 996. 996. That was easy to find. 99. 996 is the arrow. I need to make sure I was putting the right one in the right place. We're not going to go too far up there. I'm just trying to get it even there. Okay, and I need one, one C. It's down here. 3857. 3857. We need one of those. I don't know why I didn't see that earlier. Oh, there's, never mind, there's six of them. We'll just pour out a little bit. Ugh. Got to scooch it up. I got it laying in my lap, practically. We'll get those done. Oh, there's another one of those stupid greater than or less than signs. You, know, you mathematicians, you'll know which one that is, but I have no clue. Math was not my strong suit. Where is it? It's right there. It's, oh yeah, it's, that's three, 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 seven, one, three, three, seven, one. You just need one. Oh, I got it on the first stab. All right, and then I need the dot thing. It's 803. Got one of those. 803. And I need one H. 3828. 3828. That's that one I didn't have so much of. Just trying to get it even all the way across. Now I need L. L is way down here. It's 312. 312. Okay. And of course it's blue. Oh, imagine that. It's kind of a dark blue. Darker blue. Can't really tell what color it is. Sorry. I'm trying to get the ones that are down here done working my way up it's been a while since I did a square diamond plane been buying some rounds lately don't have any more diamond painting coming in until you hear me scream that I'm buying something from DAC but not this week so and I'm not enamored with uh, the uh, Oh dear. The lady from Hade. What is her name? Hannah Lynn. Uh, I'm working on it, guys. I've seen some beautiful Han not Hannah Lynn, but Hade. Oh, this one lady, it's Crafty Lisa. Oh my god, she's doing a Hade. And it's a punk rock. I want to call it a fairy or an angel. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Just beautiful, but you know, she's like I'm doing it on a 28 count or 45 count or something. I'm like, oh my god, no, no. See, that that so is not worth my time because I know, as a matter of fact, that ain't ever gonna get done. No, not, not this week, not this month, not this year. And then she had the nerve to say, she, Oh, she'd been working on it 
for uh, two years now. I was like, oh, I don't feel so bad. <sighs> Sorry, I had to have a drink of coffee. I was losing my spit. But, uh, so, that's what we're working on. Well, we got that fish fin done. Let's see if we can bring it out a little bit. Whoops. I know, I always go the wrong way. So we got that whole fish on the outside. Well, except for this top part. So that's where we're going next. I got to do that up there. I'm trying to feel because... Oh, dear. Come on. Where's my... Oh, I was losing it. I couldn't get these beads off here. I had to go find my... Dig up my Evermoment tweezers. They were on top of... Uh, what is the one... Hope runs deep, because that's what I've been working on lately. I'm just going to trim this down and pull this back. Then I'm just going to set a color on it so it keeps it held back. And I got two little blue squares. I just put them in with our other stuff. I usually don't ever run out. I mean, I haven't, I didn't at Merlis or anything else. So these will have to be like a, what do you call them? Rolled down. Because like I said, I moved it back and forth and some of them, you know, I did, I was going so fast I didn't um, get the, uh, what do you call them? Get them down just right with that placer that I was using. So, I guess we'll do with this a little bit of 310 here. 310. I can find it. Oh, and then I can find a white boat. Do you know I actually had to go get out a white boat? They must be with, you know, each of the individual diamond paintings. So I had to go find one. Not like I couldn't, because, you know, I probably got a hundred of them. And I probably got five hundred of the stupid green boats. Oh, God. Nope, we missed. You knew that was going to happen. Oh, well. We'll get the black done. Let's see, do I have to move you over just a bit? Let's see, where is my finger? So I'm working right there. Okay. Just making sure you're in frame. I get to sewing sometimes and I look up and you people can't see nothing. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, that's great. And some days I have not got the strength to do it again. Because, you know, I just rattle on. and Sometimes it's pertinent information and sometimes not so much. Okay, let's try. Oh, crap. Sometimes I can tip it and get the two off of there. Oh, come on. But, you know, if I go sideways like that, I can usually get them in there. Well, it felt almost where it had to go. I'm just not used to using that big of a placer. You just kind of stack them together and smoosh them off. Sometimes it works. But, oh well. We're getting there. One little bit at a time. Oh, yeah. I worked on this for a little bit, trying to get it up to where it was today when y'all got it here. But and then I had to do the unbagging. And, oh yeah, it's been special. So I had to move it again. And oh, that big diamond painting—it doesn't want to stay rolled up with shit. I'm gonna have to get um, what do you call it? A uh, Like a couple paper clips. I've got some big, I bought a container with like the clamps. I don't think I have one here. Well, you know what I mean, but it, it was bigger clips than those. And then it had uh, push pins and it had paper clips in it. So I use that sometimes on the the fabric things. And they're nice paper clips. They're those heavy duty ones I don't have. No, nope, I don't have any there. Of course not. They're on something else. Rolled up somewhere. But uh, I figured what the heck. 
I us don't use the push pins at all. Oh, we're back to that again. 3371. You'd think I could remember that stupid, silly number. It's kind of a dark brown. Dark, dark brown. And it, it makes everything nice. Kind of adds a, a contrast to the uh, the black. Make it not look so standout-ish. I thought we'd come back and do this bunch. But we just do a little bit of this and then we'll go back and work on the other one. But I wanted to try to make some kind of progress today. But I guess I got my days free, so tomorrow I do have an interview, but other than that, I'm pretty much free to do as I please. Thank you very much for a while. Okay, what is Oh, that's weird. It was just a haul. I don't know. It's just kind of... I don't think you can see that. Like a broken one. It's weird. Never had that. I know. Sooner or later, you're going to have everything, but... You know, they're pretty perfect in my book. But... I haven't found a whole lot, you know, with holes on the top, you know, like you do on cheap kits. That doesn't happen a lot. I mean, I'm just kind of flabbergasted when it does. I'm like, really? I kept thinking maybe they had a machine that just culls them out, you know, if they're bad. But, you know, I have no idea about the technology of making diamond drills. We'd be rich. We'd be selling them to everybody else, right? Okay, oh, we're working on, I don't know what that is, or why that's like that, but it's dark part of his fin. Some of them are all crooked. Don't pay attention, please. One of these days, we'll have one of those things where I go through and straighten all the drills, but not today. I just want a diamond paint. Diamond paint can bring me down faster than, than sewing sometimes, and it just depends, you know. 814. Whoops, I had it in my hand and I put it away. I love that red. It's like a dark cranberry. I don't know if I can get it. I'm trying to straighten them out. So There we go. It's a beautiful color. And I still haven't bought any graph paper. I don't know. I haven't been to like Walmart or any place where you can buy a pad of graft paper paper and we don't have a um, what do you call it oh like an office supply page place or somebody that would use actual graph paper you probably have to order it around here but it'd just be easier to order it from Amazon because I don't mess around anymore I just get what I want and go ahead but I was looking for graph paper if I had to graft out you know one of those uh, sampler things but uh, I guess I could just fly by the seat of my pants, right? Can I do that? Come on. I'm really good at that part. Just wing it. Hey, they didn't have all these options and choices in the 1800s and the 1700s and 1600s whenever they did it. So why should I, right? But uh, I don't know how that's going to all work, but... We'll just see what happens. I was going to use that book that I got to see if there was any patterns in there that I could use. Besides the alphabet, there's a couple alphabet things in there. 
that kind of thing. I need another drink, I'm sorry. I know, I should be drinking G2, but oh well. Ah, speeding right along at the speed of dirt. I guess it's just the under part of the fish because his fin's over here. Weird. I think I got one too many beads. What do you think? So I don't know after I get these other two from uh, Amazon how many uh, unboxings I'll have till I start making some more money. So we will see. I'll just take it one day at a time and I always say God watches out for stupid people. So and I being one of them. I'm sometimes a full time job. He's probably about ready to retire on me, too. No, just kidding. Just kidding, guys. There's one person that never gives up. <sighs> okay, whoops. I guess I got four right here. Let's see if we can just wing it and shove it right in there. Oh, my God, I almost made it. It gets so big, and I'm so busy looking at both ends. See, it'd be better on... Long stretches, so yeah, I'm trying desperately not to use it. But uh, come on, get in there. All right, let's see here. Yellow seven four two. I should have known that. It's I have seven two zero seven four zero seven four one seven four two. Yep. Weird. Nope, I was looking to see. If, now, what did I say? 741? Just need a few. See if you can see the fish's face. Okay, just checking. Every once in a while, I get carried away and forget what I'm doing. And I'm just diamond painting along. But, uh, not much going on here. Just kind of taking it a little break sometimes a break is warranted you had the summer i had jeez louise i'm glad i wasn't working someplace like a mcdonald's or a burger king or someplace that's just busy all the time i guess you'd get used to it but gee manelli i don't think so i had one red one in there didn't i oh well dead have it okay dot dot is seven four one so we might as well use that Oh, yeah. Let's get 100 for 5. Don't you love how you do that? it take you longer to pour them out than it, or, and put them back than it will to actually put the dang diamonds in there. Let's get it back. I don't know what I'm having for dinner. I haven't gotten that far. I had crappy pizza for lunch. Ah. Sometimes I'm in the mood for frozen pizza. When I get frozen pizza, I just, um, what do you call it? I add stuff to it, but today I just grabbed one of those tortinos. Oh, yeah. So that's why I'm calling it crappy pizza. But I'm spoiled rotten. I worked at a pizza place, so. But I didn't get pizza that often there. But, uh, oh, well, it, it served its purpose. Just go on. I don't know what I'm having. I do have a great big bag full of uh, beef and noodles, but it seems like I just had those. We had tacos last night at my daughter's, and I'd had Mexican food for two days before I ever got to her place to have it last night. So, yeah, I'm a little over Mexican food. I love Mexican food, don't get me wrong. I probably eat it three times a day, but, you know, after a while, it just gets old. Okay. Get rid of that. And the X is 900. Of course, it's you either have lots of oranges or lots of blues in this thing. This is kind of an orange red. It's actually more red than it is orange. Oh, hey, I almost made it that time. Jeez, I was looking to fill a big hole fast. See, that's what happens. You get carried away and 
Then you got to go back and straighten them all out. But see how it sits on that. It's so long. It just sits on that edge of where the other one is. And it doesn't want to go down. So trying to fit like five or six in a small area with a big placer is not good. Unless you're more skilled than I am. And I'm sure people are way more skilled than I am. Trying to get the fish's face done today. We'll have one more fish done. And I'll show you what we have got what I have gotten done once I finish this face here. Oh come on, please. Oy vey. Now I need that crazy. Where is it? It's 720. Oh, yeah. It was with the 400 bunch. Or 740 bunch. Haven't started reading any other books. Like I said, it's hit or miss with the book thing. Sometimes I like to read, and sometimes I like to just do this and watch something that I've already seen a hundred times and don't have to watch real close like. tweezers up so they don't get lost and then we'll show you what got done here uh hang on all right i'm back so this is the top we'll come back down and we got three quarters of that fish done and I'm almost, oops, hang on, jeez Louise, got to get everything out from underneath me. And then we come across, and I got almost to the, the tiger's nose is here, so I got about another inch, so by the time I go across there and get it all, but I got the top of the tiger, and all the way down, aren't its eyes cool, they look way better in the the camera than they do when I'm looking right down on them. Let me move this back. And we got this half of this fish's tail. He's over here, but I haven't got him done. So I got that fish and this fish done. And we'll come up all the way to the top. So I'd say, yeah, it was close to half. Because I don't have that much rolled up down here. So I would say about half, give or take. All right, guys. Well, oops. There you go. Sorry about that. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell if you like. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a good evening and the rest of your day. God bless. Bye-bye.